On today's show, we discuss how the 2014 budget has yet to be signed by the governor. Plus, in our lifestyle segment, the French have come up with a way to reduce wasting deformed fruits and vegetables. And we'll tell you how these I Love Aruba products can ultimately bridge the gap for travelers that Aruba is indeed the best sun, sand and sea destination. 15 on 15 starts right now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yan Tulu. Until now, the governor has yet to sign the 2014 budget. Originally, it was said that a quick scan would be done on the budget and a decision was supposed to be made on the Monday that passed. So, Monday has now come and gone, the quick scan is done and nothing has been signed yet. Here's an update. On Monday late afternoon, the governor of Aruba, Fredes Rufignol, left for Holland. This was a mandatory trip made unexpectedly. There does not seem to be an end to the 2014 budget debate. The tension between Orangistad and Den Haag is intensifying. According to credible sources that if the two sides cannot come to the decision regarding the budget, the governor may announce his retirement. The 2014 budget was approved with 13 votes in a public meeting at the Parliament of Aruba. An answer from the Dutch government has yet to come out and persons with authoritative status on the island are opting to wait for an answer. The situation has become more dire when the Dutch government created the notion that the governor could sign the budget as soon as the quick scan was ready. But it looks as though now that isn't the case. It is said that if the government signs the budget without the permission of the consul from the kingdom ministers, that those involved could be penalized with all responsibility and pressure on top of the governor. And now, so the World Cup is officially over, have you ever wondered where the players all go to relax afterwards? Well, a handful of the players from the Dutch team travel to Aruba. Dirk Goethe is one of the first string players from the Netherlands World Cup soccer team. He came fresh off the soccer field in Brazil to Aruba. He was welcomed on the island in VIP style. Him, along with his wife and four kids, travel to Aruba often. During an interview, the professional soccer player only had good things to say about the island. He spoke very well about Aruba in regards to it being the perfect vacation destination. He says the island is suitable for the young and the old. He also mentioned that he recommends it all the time to all his friends. There are speculations that a few more of the Dutch players will be traveling down as well. We'll keep you posted on that. The players may all be relaxing, but are you suffering from World Cup fever? ATV's sports anchor Kadochi Kok and the man of the hour during the World Cup games isn't missing soccer at all since he got the opportunity to watch more games. Here's how. ATV's Kadochi Kok has been sent to Los Angeles by Romar Trading's Conche y Toro to cover the Guinness tournament. The lucky sports guy gets to watch Manchester United play against LA Galaxy. He also gets to catch teams like Real Madrid, Rome and Inter Milan in action. Gadochi was also in attendance at a press conference for Manchester United. The coach for the Netherlands soccer team, who is now the coach for Manchester United, said he hopes his team will perform well today, seeing as they only had three practices before the big game. And don't go anywhere because when we come back, we will explore what supermarkets around the world can do to reduce global waste. And we'll get into how men and women really feel about infidelity. Also, ramen noodles. We all know it and have it, but do you know how it's made? Those topics and much more coming up right after the break. So stay with us. Welcome back from the break. I'm not sure if you are aware, but not all oranges grown from farm end up looking like this. The produce we see in supermarkets all look pretty and normal, but some fruits and veggies come out looking defected, perhaps with a small extra head on top, etc. Now you get the point. What we don't realize is the amount of fruits and vegetables that get tossed out because no supermarkets will buy them. Well, one store in France might have found the answer to stop causing unnecessary waste. Take a look. So we launch Les Fruits et Légumes Mush, the inglorious fruits and vegetables, starring the grotesque apple, the ridiculous potato, the hideous orange, the failed lemon, 
the disfigured eggplant, the ugly carrot, and the unfortunate clementine. Now, you can eat five inglorious fruits and vegetables a day. As good, but 30% cheaper. How did we do it? We bought from our growers the products they usually throw away and sold them in stores. They got their own aisle, their own labelings, and their own spot on the sales receipt. For people to realize that they were just as good as the others, we designed and distributed inglorious vegetable soups and inglorious fruit juices. And it worked. Our new kind of fruits and vegetables were an immediate success. We faced only one problem, being so this idea of selling the weird-looking fruits and vegetables at a cheaper price has garnered media attention everywhere. If every supermarket does this, the amount of global waste would be significantly reduced. So therefore, that is definitely something Aruba should be thinking of as well. Now, how do men and women really feel about cheating? Apparently, the phrase, what you don't know can't hurt you, is being taken literally here. Despite what it says on Facebook, being in an open relationship is never really okay. A new survey done by USA Network found that people think cheating is wrong unless you won't get caught. When it comes to cheating, it seems there's a huge double standard. 82% of people polled said they have zero tolerance for cheating in their relationships, yet almost the exact same percentage also said they would cheat if there were zero consequences. One thing in the survey reinforced the fact that technology has certainly made it easier and more tempting to cheat. I think it's safe to say that we've all had a bowl of ramen. Let's face it, it's fast, easy, and tasty. Perhaps the most interesting part of this pre-packaged food is seeing exactly that the packaging process is made. So how does it all work? Take a look. In this New Jersey Sun Noodles factory, it easily pops out 20,000 servings of noodles a day. 40,000 pounds of flour is used per day. The basic ingredients in your ramen includes wheat flour, water, salt, and gunsi. Gunsi is what ultimately makes the ramen noodles ramen noodle. It creates the texture and firmness to the dough. A large portion of the production is cutting the ramen itself. And the most time-consuming part is pressing the dough. And on that note, we will be right back. Take a look to see what is coming up next. The I Love Aruba brand started with various sign displays strategically placed on the island where tourists can easily take a picture in front of. Afterwards came the I Love Aruba souvenir t-shirts. The brand's objective is to enhance the product Aruba altogether and make more people around the world aware of the island as a sunny tourist destination. The makers of the brand is now hoping to go international with sun care products. Omar Steve Lejouet is a co-founder of the I Love Aruba brand. He believes incorporating the name I Love Aruba with skincare is the most optimal way to market the island. The idea is to bridge the gap for customers when it comes to Aruba being the best destination for sun, sand, and sea. Okay, that, that, that's the main objective. Um, although we're winning our bread with I Love Aruba, we've always thought that how can we make the product bigger and bigger and bigger. But we knew this from a lot of years ago. And um, the best product that Aruba has is sun. I mean, that's the best thing, sun on the beach. And which vehicle is that for is, is, is skincare. And um, right now, we, our main objective and our main goal is to not, not only sell this on Aruba, but to sell this outside. A lot of our skincares carry the name of their land. And we want our land also to be re represented in the outside, not only in the United States, but also Europe. And let's see if we, we'll get there. Every detail of the skincare line is made with Aruba in mind, including the design and color scheme of the products. The bold, vivacious tones on the products represents the colorful houses the island is culturally used to. Aruba is a very colorful island. I mean, whenever I drive by a pink house, I don't even really recognize it anymore because I, I see it so much and it's beautiful. And whenever people from abroad see it, they're like, hey, you guys have a pink house. Well, we're very colorful people. And you can see that coming back in, uh, in our designs. Um, just like a bottle of wine, 
we approach the, the, the bottles with a story it need, that needs to be told. And um, we will then, because of that, because of the colors, pop out in the, in the supermarket, in the shelves. And this is, this is a story that uh, we came up with. You know, you got a relief, you got the water, you got aloe, you got the sun. Omar says he has already been approached by chains in the United States who are interested in carrying the products. The concept of I Love Aruba goes beyond the products you see here. These can produce selfie opportunities for tourists. The picture moments allow the name of Aruba to be shared more often on Instagram, Facebook and more. When people are on vacation, they want to show the world where they are. It's, it's not only about souvenirs. Um, people that go on vacation want to brag about it. Not only, so do I. When I go on vacation, I'm taking like, I just went with my son, taking all these selfies. Um, when somebody lays at the beach and it's a beautiful blue background, it can be a lot of beautiful places around the world. But if you give them a tool to expose to where they are, they will do it, including me. When I'm at San Diego, I put a San Diego bridge. Um, so this this will give people the tool to a become a Kodak moment, and b to start talking about it whenever they go back home. It's a conversation trigger. So it's the perfect vehicle to get across. But it that is it for us. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back here on Thursday night, starting at 7:15 p.m. with the latest in lifestyle topics and the latest on the island. We'll see you then.